Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Success Obona, the Bite the Boy. Right, just like I promised to shoot a video for you guys on the business of your skill, like turning your skill to profit. That's why I'm here. I right? so this is entirely different from all what you've been learning in, on this channel. This is something really, really unique, and I'm so really, really uh, glad that I'm doing this with taking up this lecture with you guys today. And especially if you're one of those who actually is looking out to start out in the online space really if, if you're hearing about if you're hearing people saying do business online go to the online space get a skill do this and do that and you're wondering how do you even go about doing all that right it's never you have been struggling to learn how to use microsoft word or excel and all that and yes here are people calling you to go and learn an online skill and make money online i know that sounds sound a little vague to you sound so vague Looks so strange to you now. This is the video to watch and also if you are one of those who, who own, already owns a skill You have a skill already a digital skill, but you actually don't know how, know how to promote or how to sell this skill To money or how to even create a business around this skill This is the video to watch and if all some of the all, if all this have, that I've mentioned really interest you Ensure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and also turn on notification because and also leave me a, a comment section on what part of this video really really strike the chord for you because i am sure by the end of this video there'll be so much value for you i know the way i do it i just go there da, 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 right i just give it to you da, 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 da. i give it the value straight up right so guys um on today's video the business of your skill or turning your skill to profit so how do we go about this so i'll be giving you guys a little story about myself about my journey and hopefully i'll be using that trick for today's lecture so uh some years back i started like i was a novice in this space right i don't even know i don't know nothing about uh anything in the online space trust me guys i didn't i wasn't born this good i, I didn't I, I wasn't born a genius like this in the online space i started out from the scratch with no basic skill Right, I can tell you that the, the only thing I knew when I started was just how to uh, maybe Excel, how to I saw how to type on Microsoft Word, a little bit about Excel and just few stuff. So when I was learning about learning about when I was learning about online space, online digital skill, learn how to do this and learn how to get this skill, get that skill, and make a lot of money online. <laughs> all that sounded strange to me, guys. All that I'm sounded so so strange to me. Sounded all so strange to me. But then uh I was hungry to win. Right? I was so hungry to succeed. I'm still hungry to succeed, right? I'm still I'm still hungry to win because you never get enough of winning, you never get of, you never get enough of success. That's the truth. So I'm still hungry to win. But then when starting out in this space, one of the things that would actually sustain you is that hunger, that consistent fire to really really want to win right that fire to really really want to win that was what actually kept him burning so when i started out i think it uh, uh, i didn't just wake up to one morning and say okay i'm a trader or i'm a financial trader or i'm a crypto genius or i'm a forex genius or i am a market earlier marketer so a lot of us in this space started out as novice in learning different different skills that's the truth I didn't just wake up one morning and say I want to start for I want to be, become a forex trader. No, I started from I started from writing, content writing. That was how I started. Just writing about myself, writing about life, writing about uh, scriptures. Some I was I just started, I just started writing, right? Writing, creating content and posting. I didn't even have any niche, right? I didn't have any niche. I didn't actually have any niche where uh, that I was just what I want to focus on. Like, like I'm doing right now on the financial markets. I didn't have a niche. I didn't even know where to start. Right. But then I was just writing at random. Right. Writing at random before I now picked a course. Paid for a course on content writing and copywriting. I'm telling you guys how I started my journey. So it wasn't it wasn't like magic. Right? So I picked the course on content writing and uh, 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 content writing and copywriting. Right. So it's after that particular after that course, my writing took a new dimension. My writing took a new dimension 
I now understood how to really, really write to interest my audience, how to really write to trigger my my audience to take the actions I need them needed them to take. So this is why when I write, when I create the content, you, you would always be so engrossed because I, over time I've grown and developed in that area, developed my skill in the writing. And no matter how good you are in any skill, in any niche, you must learn how to create content. You must learn how to create content. You must learn how to write around that niche. You must learn how to trigger people, how to educate people, how to entertain people, how to uh, persuade people around that niche. Right? You must learn how to educate people around what you know. You must learn how to uh, entertain them in the right with entertain them also with, with your content. You must also know learn. Right? How to uh, 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 persuade. Right? Persuade. And this is where copywriting comes into play. How to persuade people to take the necessary action you needed them to take on that content. You're not just writing the content blankly that is an action i should for every content you're writing that there is an end goal i'm just talking about my journey right for some other persons could start from several other places for me particularly it is the easiest right so writing is the content writing is the cheapest and the easiest way to start out in the in the online space right content writing is the easiest way to start out in the online space and that is where i started from there i went into learning graphic design Right, I learned that the, all the thumbnails and the designs to show myself. This a lot of them I do them myself. Right, so I learned. I also migrated into learning how to uh, how to add uh, uh, not just to write plainly, but give my write my write ups a touch of graphic design, designing. Right, so for sometimes when I after writing, I put a, a a catchy design that will intrigue you to want to really read what I wrote. Right, I would copy to good uh, copy uh, with. Uh, copywriting skill i'm also able to uh uh make my the title of my content intriguing and interesting enough for you to really really want to read my content right so this is this is how i started and this is actually our majority of the dons and experts in the different space that in the different niche you know started out and the skill of content writing and copywriting is goes for every entrepreneur, especially if you are serious about your business. It's a lifelong skill. No matter the, the stage you are in your in your niche, no matter the level of expertise you've attained, you cannot do without co content writing and copywriting. These two skills go hand in hand. Right? From there, from, from graphic designs, I also added video video uh, uh editing creation and all that like what i'm doing right now right i added that skill too learned, learned about some softwares i could use to uh create amazing videos like this for you right so i was just if notice i was just uh, when i started earlier i was just learning different things i was not particular about this is what i want to do that this was this is the space i want to focus on I think even I was just learning. I was just learning. So this will lead me to my the phase one of your journey, right? This lead me to phase one of your journey. Phase one of your journey. The phase one of your journey. If you're starting out online, is what to call. Uh, is what I call uh, skill or skill slash right skill slash information gathering. Right, information gathering. Information gathering. This is the first phase of your journey as a as a newbie. You want to learn a lot of things. You you need. You want to learn a lot of things. You want to become almost. You want, you want to become everything. Right. You want to become everything. A lot of times it's not easy. Right, because you're starting at starting out. So in time. Right. In time, I started, I started looking for a focus. Right, I started looking for a focus. Which area do I really, really want to major on? Do I, do I want to become a content writer, a copywriter for people, for businesses, helping businesses write copies and all that? Is that what I, is that the area I want to major on? Because at the time, I was actually doing that. I was actually writing copies and writing, uh, helping uh, 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 businesses sell their product with my copies. 
right so after video editing and all that i discovered that all these keys uh content writing uh copywriting graphic designs video creation and editing all these skills i can apply them on one face so th that was where now this now led me to this now took me to phase two right where we now talk about uh niche selection but we are trying to focus on the space so i discovered all these things i learned i can use them in one space i can work as a social media uh, as a as a social me social media manager, Ma social media manager, right? I thought that I could I could function as a social media manager. I could help, help platforms, businesses manage their social media accounts with my content creation skill, right? With my content creation skill and my copywriting skill, I could make people take actions on their platforms right i could make clients take actions on their platforms so this led me to tend to now uh, create a title around all that i have learned let me use that word more like that is phase two after cutting all the all the plentiful information now i'm not trying to be particular on a big particular i, I, I need to title all what i have be learning right i needed to title all the all what i have been learning i need to uh major on a niche right i need to major on a niche i need to major on a niche so i think about all that all this skill that i've mentioned before i could use them as a social media manager and in time i discovered that even to function better as a social media manager right i also need to learn about facebook and instagram ads Right, I need to add, add the skill of Facebook and Instagram. Uh, this will not make me a complete social media manager. So at the time, I was also running ads for platforms, so businesses, for small businesses. I was helping them run their ads, making small money from them. Right, making small money from there. So this continued on and on, on and on. Right onto one period where I had an where, the, where I had an upset. Right where I had an upset. Something really, something changed me and changed me forever. Right, something changed me forever, and I'll be telling you what that is shortly. I'll be telling you what that is shortly. Now I'm starting out in this space. But if there is one, what, what, one of the things that would help you go far in the online in the, in the online space is focusing on your strength. Focusing on your strength. Understanding what your passion is, because at the end of the day, you, it, your passion would always find you. That's the truth. At the end of the day, your passion would always find you. Right, so I I noticed I not I I, I was that, that that this friend of mine, his name is Nat Nathaniel Disu. Right, Nathaniel Disu is into the stock market. I declared that I was falling deeper and deeper in love with what he was doing around the financial markets. Anytime, anytime he creates a content and pulls that content, I always want to read. I want to. I always want. I discovered. I didn't. I unconsciously grew. A very strong uh, 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 passion for the financial market through this guy, right? I was doing what I was doing around the social media as a social media manager, but I saw that I could very easily resonate with the activities of the financial market, right? Still on phase two, guys. Still on phase two. I saw that I could easily resonate with uh, 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 what was going on around the financial market. I loved it. I enjoyed it. So I was curious to know more about it. Right? I, in a way, halted from my work, right, about uh, uh, 
as a social media manager, but as a content creator, copywriter. Uh, and I was just seeing all that at the side to generate little income to sustain me for where my passion really, really is. And you must, you must understand that this is very important. A lot of times, your passion can be really, can be the big goal, can be the big picture. Right? A lot of times, your passion can be the big picture, right? But you you needed the small, small wins, right, to sustain you to be able to attain that big picture. You needed that so small, small wins, so small, small uh, doings, so small, small stuff to your own on the side to be able to sustain you to you're able to attain that big picture of yourself. Right, to attain that big picture of yourself. So why I was, why I, in, in a way, focused on learning about the financial market, gave myself totally to the financial market. I was still doing these small, small jobs, taking up small jobs around copywriting space, right, around, uh, around creating videos, right, and also around um, graphic designs to support, to earn one or two, uh, to make ends meet, right? And from there, I was able to, from the incomes, from the uh, income I was able to raise or get from these uh, uh, simple, simple activities, I was, using it to, I was using it to strengthen my knowledge by paying for courses around the financial market. Because I, I knew this was what I wanted to do. This was what I love to do. This was... Something that this was something I've grown to fall in love with. But this was something I've grown to fall in love with. So I spent time, I spent money, I spent resources learning about the financial market. About especially about the forex market precisely. But that was what I was learning majorly. The forex market. Right? I kept on with the grind, I kept on with the grind, I kept on with the grind. Right, I kept on with the grind on the forex market, just learning on a solo, right? Learning just without making any noise about it. No, but not, nobody ever knew I, I was uh, on this part. I never said a word about it. I was just learning on the. I was silently learning about the forex market. Right, I was silently learning about the forex about the forex market. Silently learning about the forex market. Right, learn about the forex market now until a period I, 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 because uh, while I was learning, I was also practicing, I was making a lot of mistakes, growing, getting better, a lot of upside, a lot of ups and downs in the space, right? A lot of ups and downs in the space. So, I mean, I, I, I knew, let me add forex, right? Forex trading, not forex, right? I knew I needed to solidify this thing I'm doing, right? Which, 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 which takes me to phase, which now takes me to phase three, right? Now phase, uh, phase two is actually on uh, niche selection. Next phase two is actually on niche selection. Niche selection, that is phase two, right? Niche selection, choosing a path Right. from the random many, from the many, many things you've known, trying to focus, right, trying to choose a focus, right, it's not really, that, it is not really easy, right, trying to choose a focus is not really easy. So, this was now where I now went into phase three, because I was struggling in phase one, struggling in phase two, so I needed what to call, what I call solidification, I call phase three solidification. 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 At this point, I knew I needed to become, I needed mentorship, I needed to be really, really good. I need to be really, really good at what I am doing. And one of my anchor scripture, that was that's what I'm taking you guys to the Bible now. That this scripture that actually kept me going, that actually made pushed me into facing this face. And that scripture is in the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 27. It says, The slothful man who roasted not that which he took in hunting, but the substance of a delight man is precious. 
let me read it for you from another translation right uh this this might not be so clear to you proverbs chapter 12 verse proverbs chapter 12 verses uh 27 it says the lazy man does not roast his game the lazy man does not roast his game game in this context is hunt like like your hunter are not roasting uh the prey right not really processing it right but the delight but the diligent man prizes his possession now let me say this clearly right what that scripture meant is that if you have been on phase one you're trying to gather that you're trying to hunt you're trying to struggle gather all uh put all your skill together to hunt and phase two means where you have hunted already you have caught the prey you have you now have a space if a, a focus you now have an area a niche you, you really want to focus on right and you fail to pass this uh skill of yours through processes through processing through furnishing right through pruning right you refuse to be coached you feel you can do it on your own you refuse to go through mentorship through processing through refining into being an expert into being an authority in this space all your work all your learning all the things you've been doing, what, what, what the Bible is saying on in Proverbs chapter 12, verse 27, is that it's calling you a lazy man. And only a lazy man will hunt without processing it. Because it is in processing it that it, that you give that that hunt value. Imagine I bring a raw meat to you and, and I'm asking you to you to pay for it. Right? You will not pay me as much as when I now cook it, process it garnish it and take it and, and I, the money i'll make selling it to you by selling selling that animal to you on the roadside and be catching an animal going to the roadside and some said to sell it to people on the roadside as a raw raw uh raw, uh, 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 uh send, send the animal in food for instance as for you to buy uh, i send the animal for you to buy on the roadside or me cooking that animal processing it garnishing it taking it to a continental hotel as a dish which one will give me more money you know already that the, the second option will give me more money taking it to a processing is cooking it taking it to a better environment furnishing it right and selling it there that will make me way more money than just clean it and selling it raw on the road side but this this same thing applies to your skill this same thing applies to your skill you need to go you, you need to allow yourself go through pruning go through coaching go through processing you need to let your skill you need to see it, it's been it's it, this phase i'm telling you is not really is the toughest and the strongest phase it's the toughest and the strongest phase but if you are able to scale through that is where, if you're able to scale through this phase, then wealth and all your all the fantasies you that you have in your mind would naturally come to pass. Would naturally come to pass. Would naturally come to pass. Right? Would naturally come to pass. But it all begins. It all begins with. Focus, right? Focus. So when I what did I do in this phase? I started looking phase three. I started looking for expert for guys who were really good in the space. Right? Identifying with them, working with them closely, watching them do what they what they are doing, practicing, grooming myself. Right? And now at this while I was grooming myself, I was also putting out my work publicly i'm at the first time i posted a chart on my facebook account it got just one like from a lady uh her name is melody it's well i know she might be watching this video she might watch this video later and she would smile she was the first person that liked my 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 my, my chat 
on Facebook. When I said I was sharing, sharing my, I, in time, when I discovered that okay, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I, I, when I saw that I was becoming consistently good in what I was doing, I started showing, showing off, I started showing my work, showing what I do. Right? I started showing what I do to the public. I started showing my, my works to the public. Not teaching anybody yet. Right? So, I knew putting out my work, a little of more persons who were really good in the space would notice what, what I was doing. A lot of them would criticize, and from their critics, I would learn. Right? And for some of them, some, some would want to share their own thoughts, and from their thoughts too, I would learn. So, <coughs> so generally, I was just out to become, to, I was focused on just becoming better. I wasn't exactly looking at what I uh, 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 what I will immediate gratification or what I will gain immediately. So this is where a lot of newbies get it wrong. They think they will just learn a skill in, in, in two weeks, or be in three days, and start making money the following day. That is wrong. Right? You learn, you go for it, you go, you go and learn a skill uh, for a week. After a week of learning, you want to also copy the same thing that your, your master taught, taught you, you just want to copy and paste it for people and charge people less. Maybe you spend 5k, you not try to teach that same thing for 1k. It is evil. Right? It is evil. It is evil. It is evil. It is very much evil. Don't be in a rush. That is what that's people will people will rush. When you rush into trying to make money in, in the online space, you would easily get kicked out in the space. You would not so it comes up if you're always in your worry to focus on, on making money instead of giving out value to people, you would hardly survive in this space. That's the truth. The focus is would should always be about value, right? Treating people as humans, giving them value. And not seeing people as figures or as money. Right? And, and not seeing people as people as figures or as money. Right? Or seeing people as humans that they are and as value. And looking at what how to give them value, right? Thinking as for how to give them value. And very importantly, must you also be able to understand that in chasing you, 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 in chasing excellence, you should never limit yourself to your environment, right? In chasing excellence, you must never limit yourself to your excellence. This is why you must chase solidification, excellence. Global excellence. And thank God for places like social media, for instance, like Facebook and all that, that allows you to interact with even the people from other parts of the world and other parts of the continent. So do not think your competition. So listen, the problem is these are the best for you guys are in a hurry to jump into money it's because you don't even understand your 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 you don't even understand your value process, you don't even understand your your your, your, your value flow, your value chain. You don't understand where what your competition, who your competition really is. Don't think your competition in your speech is that. Let, let's let's say for instance, as a, as a social media, uh, as a social media ex, uh, expert. Now you call yourself a social media expert, and your 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 mind is limited within just maybe your area in Portacourt, or your area you feel you are the best in your area in your niche. In your area in Lagos, or in your niche in your area in Zaria, in your niche in your area in Ipadan, or Ekiti. No, guys, your competition is that guy in China who has 24 hours power supply, who has access to free 24/7 internet to be create to be a, a to be a lot more creative and a lot more better than you. That guy is your competition. That guy that has. Uh, 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 no, that has 100% efficient infrastructure, right? That has way better infrastructure than you do. 
that has a, a, that has a very high internet speed than you do. That guy is your competition, not those, not the person looking for, uh, not 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 your colleagues. Right, while still using uh, one one thousand meta data for one month for one month, that is not your competition. You must understand that as a bar, as a standard, there is a standard for you to attract the attention of kings. There is a standard you need to measure up to, right? Irrespective of your limitation, regardless of your environmental limitation. All the poor infrastructures, infra infrastructure around you, that is a standard for reward. That is a standard to attract kings. And this is why a lot of uh, uh, a lot of big clients don't recognize you yet because your create your creative level has not matched up to that criteria, up to that strata, up to that strata, up to that bar. That. That is good enough, that is bright enough to attract those high paying clients to you. Right? They will come when they see the brightness of your work. When they see the, the brightness of your work here, uh, of your work here refers to the consistency in the in the, the consistency in the improvement of your works, the consistency in how you build and on, 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 on your the consistency on, on your daily efforts and refining your skill into hitting that pinch that benchmark of global recognition, right? Into hitting that benchmark that deserves global recognition. See, listen, once your work, right, once your work is that good, you don't need to say so much. But mind you, you you must put it there on the hill. That's what Jesus said in Matthew chapter. Uh, I think is it Matthew chapter six. I think Matthew chapter six. But he said, which of you will light a candle right, and what? Cover it and hide it under the table. Right? A city on the hill cannot be hidden. This means you are to build, well, once, once your craft is good enough, you should take it to the hill. Position your skill on the hill. That hill, that, that, that this is where I'm, I'm, I'm going to. This, I'm, this is me now taking it to, to phase four. Phase four means is aggressive marketing. Aggressive, aggressive marketing. Put your work out there. That's what I'm saying. And this you, you already know how to do. I already know how to do for my skill. On content creation, I was creating content around what I know. Right? The combat content creation and copywriting skills are post making them together to show off what I know. Right? Phase four. Right? Show show your work. Show your work. Uh, let me say put your work out. Right, put your put your work out there. Put your work out there. That is phase four. After the entire process, and identify because this thing, that this popular saying, which I agree hundred percent, the best that it says the best known is better than best known is better than the one who knows the best. The one that is. That 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 is well, that the one that is well known is better than the one that knows well. That's, that's just, right. The one that knows that is well known is better than the one that is that knows well. So you must be able to put your work out there. People let people see your journey. Let people see how you are evolving in your skill, how you are evolving in that business. Right? So it is not automatic. So some people just come from phase one and jump to phase four, or from phase two and jump to no. It has to follow this this uh, this this value flow. You must attain solidification. 
right now phase four and phase three work hand in hand because personally i was doing them together so if you don't have to exactly wait for until you become ex before start selling no i'm not saying you should wait until you feed your 100 percent radio 100 percent good no right from 20 percent from 30 percent efficiency you can start showing you how to putting out what you i'm not saying selling right i'm not saying selling what you know yet right you start showing what you know right put out your work show your work show your crafts let people see what you're doing let people see how you are evolving how you are becoming better by the day right if, if, if you this in a way registers you as the go-to person when they need a solution around this around your skill sets this puts you as the go-to expert when they need a solution on your on on on, uh, on your skill sets i can't call it a lot of times because of my consistency because of how i've always i'm only showing up every day on my craft even up till now you notice know, i'm open always i've been consistent on my channel putting out video putting out content for you on my social media handles creating content and putting up everything every day that's why my level that's why my level of expertise you can see how my my how my the, some of the skills i used in phase one right so that it's one thing to know how that it's one thing that you know how to tweet the market for instance i'm using my my, my, my skill as a trader as an instance it's one, it's one thing for you to know that okay you are a good trader it's not it's, a, it's another bold game entirely for you to be able to create a business around it i'm going to create a business around it because trust me you 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 can't make you won't make enough money from the market just by being a trader that's the truth although there's money in trading i make a lot of money trading the market right i made a lot of money today trading the market but it, 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 it that you make more money when you start looking at looking at looking at the market as a business and not just something you just go on a solo and do by yourself no when you start looking at when i start when you start exploring other opportunities around their space around what you know right around what you know and this this and, and, and this can be made easy when you start putting out your work so you can see if you check my work you notice that i'm 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 a trader right but i create videos right i create craft, i make graphic designs i create thumbnails for my videos and all that i also create content for my videos so all the things I've learned in my all the skills, the skills that I developed in phase one, you can see how I'm, how I am still implementing all these skills on my niche, on my phase two, right? Because I'm on, on, on play, and also before I now went to solidify on build on my skill, improve on it, becoming a go-to expert on my skill, and up to today, I'm still putting out my work. I'm also always putting out my work for people to see. I'm always putting out my work for people to see. So it is it is not just enough for you to be good, right? It is also in fact there's something the Bible said about uh uh let me read that scripture for you. I think Proverbs chapter eleven, verse twenty-six. Let me read that scripture for you. So you, you learn something new today. Proverbs eleven, verse twenty-six. Bible says, People calls the man. Who holds greens? People cause the man who holds greens, but but blessing counts him who is willing to sell those greens. But blessings crown Proverbs eleven verse twenty six. I think that again. He says, "People will cause you who knows and he, he, he refuses to show off his work." It is a cause for you to know something, to be good at a skill, and you refuse to sell to show what you know. It is a it is a cause on you. But people will reward you. People will bless you when you are now selling it. It is a blessing to sell what you know. Don't let anybody make you feel guilty when you're trying to sell your course, when you're trying to sell your knowledge. Right? It it costs you to to know what you know. So it is wrong. It is an error right to be giving it out for free right sell your skill sell your skill put it out there right you get to a level where you now need to sell that skill guys 
all the time, all the efforts, all the all the all the learning stretch you've been going through is you are what you deserve to be rewarded for all that effort. So this is still on the business of your skill, turning your skill to profit. Turn your skill to profit. So aggressively market your skill, aggressively sell what you know, aggressively put your works out there. No matter what you know, if you are a graphic designer, you want to, you are, if that is where you want to major on, explore other op options of content co of, 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 around content creation, so right? around video creation, creating animes, create, and, 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 and all that. Put your works out there. Put your works out there and sell your skill. And sell your skill. Right? Put your work out there and sell your skill. And but very importantly, have a have a mentor that is working closely with you. Have a mentor that has achieved the results you are aspiring to achieve. Have a mentor that has attained where you are aspiring to attend. Have a mentor that has a that has a track record. Right? And has a track record of excellence in that space. Has a track record of dominance and, and is an authority in that space. Right? And that is an authority in that space. And this is why you can't go, you can't do it without mentorship in any skill set. Right? In, your, in any skill set. So personally, I have evolved, I've evolved over time, not just the Forex market, but also the crypto market and the stock market. Right? Currently, I have a course, a, 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 a crypto mastery course. I have a, a Forex mastery course and currently I'm working on it, on, on, on the stock market mastery program. So you can see how my journey has evolved. I, I, I'm now exploring others, other opportunities around the financial market. I'm not just limit, limiting myself to, to just Forex, but I've, I've now stretched, right, stretched, stretched to explore all the opportunities on my work and on a daily basis and I'm putting my work out there for everyone to see for just, just, just like Jesus would say let your light so shine let your work be so evident don't just sit somewhere just say you are learning you are learning that was says that I suppose we call this kind of blessings of ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of this truth Did you, you want to use you, you, you come to the knowledge of what you know when you when you, when you when you are confident enough to put your work out there when you're confident to now to, to to tell the world that this is what I am doing you might not be 100 percent perfect right don't, I'm not saying you should let's, let, let, let understand my journey right you gather your skills right you find a, you find a, a skill gathering New selection, you solidify your, your you solidify on what you know. You now put your work out there. After while you put your work out there, and you 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 you, 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 you notice the growth, the 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 level of engagement, how people engage with your work and all that, and how people really admire or love what you do. You cannot put a price tag. Right? You cannot put a price tag on what you do. Then you sell that skill aggressively right so while you are saying that skill aggressively in time you also want to start exploring other opportunities around that skill so don't just jump from maybe you are into a uh, uh, um, uh, let's say you are into a uh, 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 bakery right you are a baker you bake cakes right you can when people already know you as a as a as a, as a, as a baker that you bake cakes, that you it is an error for you to not digress from a baker, right? To not telling me that you now want to uh, uh, become a video. Uh, no, 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 not even that. That, that is even an, an advantage or skill. You now want to become a pro, a programmer. So it, do, it, do, it doesn't make sense. Right? It doesn't exactly make sense, but you can digress from a baker, right? You now move into maybe uh, uh, catering, right? Explain other opportunities around them. My point is, explain other opportunities around your niche. If you're a graphic designer, explore that because 
the shift into uh, video creations, right? Also, because we are still on the same line, we are still on the same track, right? Shift, shift, shift digress into video creation, create videos around your content, make good money. This is how you make good money for yourself. Don't just limit yourself to just one particular area or space on your niche, on your on your field. You won't make you, you won't make so much money. At the end of the day, you want to make so much. You want to make so much. You want to amass wealth for yourself. And you can only do that when you are able to explore other opportunities in your niche. But when you're when you're able to explore other opportunities in your niche. Right? When you're able to explore other opportunities in your niche. Being able to explore other opportunities in your niche. So it is a cost not to sell what you know. But do not be shy. Do not be scared to sell. The Bible has given you the go ahead. What else are you waiting for? Don't be shy. Right? Don't be shy. Don't be scared. Don't say what do people say. Oh, your friends will laugh at you. Let them laugh. Right? When I said that, the other persons were laughing. What do I, when, when this one started, when people were saying, ah, when this one started beginning trade. But in time, nobody started asking me that. People, now in time, people started asking, how can I learn? But they've seen how consistency, you can beat any doubts with consistency. Even your own doubts. You can beat the doubts of people and even your own doubts, even your own fears, you can beat it with consistency. You can beat it with consistency. There is no magic in becoming an expert outside consistency. Consistency. No magic. But me that you're looking at, uh, this guy is a, a, a pro in forex. This guy is a pro in crypto. This is because this is what I'm doing every day. This is what I do every day. I talk, this is what I talk about every day. For more than two, for almost two years now. This is what I talk about every day on a daily basis. On a daily basis. So this, why won't I be good? Why would I be seen as, seen as an authority in it? Right? There are times where my doubt, my fears, setbacks, and all that, my fears, I question, I doubt myself, I doubt how, what, 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 what do I have to say today and all that? But every day I push myself. Every day I put myself out there. Every day I, I seek for my craft, for my work to be known, to be seen. And this is how you make the money, this is how you build the world. But if a graphic designer just starting out, trying to solidify your skill, Put that funny design. People will laugh at you, but you, you will learn. It will help you. Some other guys, there are, this is, there are a lot of wonderful guys out there who, who would also want to correct you with love. Then I know there are many who will laugh and criticize your work. Don't be discouraged. Every winner started, started out as... Every winner, including me that we celebrate today, we have failed several times. People have laughed at us several times. But the reason why you see our results, you look at us and you admire our work, you admire our results, is because we refuse to give up. We refuse to quit even when people laughed at us. We refuse to quit even people when, when people doubted us. We refuse to quit even when, when our families, when our clone, when the closest people to uh, uh, people in our lives doubted us. When even the closest people in our lives doubted us at the time, my fiance was like, was telling me success, just leave this thing. This thing does this thing does not work. At the time. But today I am standing, I refused to give up. And that is why you are celebrating me today. Because I refuse. What the reason why you guys are all are celebrating me today is because I refuse to give up. I chose consistency over immediate gratification uh, over immediate gratification. Over my fears, over my doubts, over what people would say, I chose consistency. I chose consistency. So there is no magic around turning your business or turning your skill to profit. The only magic is in consistency and in putting your work out there. In consistency and in putting your work out there. You get to a point, to a level where you know this, where you know your work. You yourself, you know your you, your work needs. You uh, you need to put a price tag on your work because you're be, you able to measure the quality of your work and you know it is really good. So do not be scared to put price, put the price tag. And I think that's one major challenge with a lot of people. 
starting out in the online space, how to sell, how to put the price tag on their course. Right? Be say when I started, I when I, when I started with the Forex Master course, when I started, my first price tag was sixty thousand, and people were shouting, "How will you say? How will you be putting sixty thousand naira for your course and mentorship?" When I started, it was that was my faith. I was scared, I was doubting, but when I when I measured the the, the the when I measured the value I carried, when I measured what I quality of what I know and the amount I've, I've actually spent in knowing what I know, in doing what I do, and even as compared to people who actually know less and have been charging way more than I, I charge, I was confident to place a price. People saw my course as a high ticket course because the first 60,000 Naira was too much. At that time, 60,000 Naira was actually less than $100, but today it's actually, uh, it was actually, uh, uh less less than a hundred dollar but today that is <laughs> something else actually actually more than a hundred dollars but today that is something else right so do not be scared to charge make people pay high for your knowledge to make people pay high for your for the sacrifice because what you are doing you are shortening the journey for people so today somebody will just tell me to says I want to learn forex but they don't know the journey what it took me to put out, to put the course together, to put the program together, to put the the fine knowledge they, 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 they are seeing today, to put it all together for them, to make, I'm making it easier for them. Right? A lot of them don't see the work I've actually put together to make it easier for them. So when you, wait, wait, so wait, wait, so, so when you, wait, wait, when I put, a, when you sell it to them and they start complaining, tell me, these guys are not your audience. Look for that, that, see, there are all there is always someone who is willing to pay you your words. That is the truth. There is always someone willing to pay you your words. In selling, I don't want to think about selling now, but build an audience. Find a social media, find a social media platform, major on it, build an audience around there and sell to them. You can choose Telegram, you can choose YouTube, you can choose Facebook, you can choose YouTube, uh, WhatsApp. Just find a social a, a, a media. Right? Find a media and put your voice out there. Put your work out there. On that media, with all that is only someone who is willing who would be willing to pay for the, what you know. I'm on the first time somebody paid for my course. But, but that was what that was my that was my that was to where I knew I'm going all out on this. I'm on the first time someone called me to say success. I love your work. I see what you do. How, how uh, 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 I can you, can you send me account number? I want to pay you to know this thing that you know. Right? That for see, that see, your first sale, besides when I said a high ticket cost like I do, your first sale, your first sale will clear all, see, I, I will clear all your doubts. You will know that, you would know that the reason why you're struggling with sales is because you've been trying to struggle, you are, you are trying to. Uh, Please, your work. You have to be. You are, you are, you are trying to sell to the wrong audience, but the right audience would never would make it easier for you to thrive in your space of expertise. The right audience will make it easier for you to win. But this was part of your work. As part of your work and in building a business around your skill, create build an audience, build people, right? Build people. There is no business that succeeds or grows without people. Build people. Look for a social media space. Build people with there. Give them value. Put your work to them. Right? Put your work to them and sell to them. This is how you win. Build people and sell to them. This is how you win this is how you win guys right so at this point i think i have done justice to this uh subject today i've done justice to this subject so if you have any questions hit me up on the comment section and i'll be so glad so glad i'll be so glad to answer all your questions and if you have uh more, there are more stuff you want to add some additions some things you want to add and all that leave all that in the comment section if you're watching my videos for the very first time please ensure 
to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up and also turn on notification because i'll be uploading more amazing videos every week for you so guys i'll be seeing you guys on sunday we'll be talking about forex crypto markets so see you guys on sunday guys